Hi guys, this is a quick overview of one of my presses here at Woody's. Uh, what we get with a Woody's press is we use stainless rods and then uh, aluminum plates top and bottom and we use a, a long cylinder with a pressure gauge at the top and as you see we have quick connect fittings top and bottom and then those go to that's a pressure adjuster right there you just reach up and turn the knob and then if we reach around there's one little bolt holding that pressure adjuster on right there you could take that little bolt out and hit the quick connects and the pump and the hoses and everything can be put in a box and then you just throw the press in your trunk or in the back of your truck throw the pump in the box and throw it in the back of the truck and it makes it super portable so for a quick look here with a Woody's press you get the press frame this frame it's got a half inch blast shield on it here bolted on open on both sides <clears throat> This is my small press and you get to pump and then you have to add a battery and when if you pick it up at a chute it'll have fluid in it and if you get it shipped to you you'll have to put four quarts of fluid in it hydro fluid and you'll be ready to go so let's show you what we got here I use a long rod on my frame so you can go down pretty far and then if you want to do a star plate we just use a little spacer or some spacer blocks and you're good to go uh, the pressure adjuster, how we use those, is I use those with my power to force gauges. I got a little power to force gauge. So every pound you put on here, it moves the gauge a pound. So this is a true power to force gauge here. So we turn this thing up and say I want to put 3,000 pounds on here. I push the button. And it's at 1500. So I need to go to 3000. I just turn the knob. Bam. 3000 PSI. And we are good to go. Now I'm ready to press a rocket. So that's how we use these. I have two of these available. I have one that goes to 10,000 PSI. Or I have what I call a double power. And it'll go, the gauge reads half of what the actual pressure is. And it would go clear to 30,000 PSI for one of our bigger presses. Um, I don't know much else here. I got a nice wide area, plenty of room to work. I can stand in front of it. So I can stand right here in front. I can reach around and I can protect it. If I'm doing like a whistle rocket, I've still got my blast shield for me, but I don't have to fool around and, and go very far. Actually, on my press setup I have for myself, I built me a little plate right here, and I just slide stuff, and I never have to pick up the tooling at all. I can just slide it out, dump my increments in, slide it back in, up, down. We use, um, it's a 12-volt pump. You have to add a battery to it, like a, a, a marine battery, deep cycle. Some people ask if you could hook them to 110, you could buy a 110 pump, but hooking a 12 volt pump to a 110 is, you have to have a big power supply. These run about 280 amps, so they really take a lot of power once you really crank down on them. But this is a two gallon a minute pump, and as you see, we really get some speed out of our ram here, so you can make a rocket pretty fast. Uh, for portability, these press frames, the small press frame has 20 inch opening. That'll do any rocket, three pound and under rocket, press lots comet pump, star plates. And it's still, this thing only weighs, oh, about 46 pounds, I believe. You just unhook your, your fittings, take that bolt off, put that stuff in a box, put your frame in the back of the truck, wrap it in a moving blanket, you're good to go. You don't need any extra help. It's not too hard to do by yourself. So that's a Woody's Press.